Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this smoky greeny blue eye look and uh, yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy! So I started with applying this Ilamasca sketch stick in this beautiful blue shade. I applied it all over my lids sort of as an eyeshadow primer. Then I took a fluffy synthetic brush and just blended it out all over my eyelid. Now you can see that as I blend it out it loses a lot of its pigmentation so I had to make sure to go back in there again and blend it and yeah. Then I went into my Morphe 35B palette and first used this beautiful green shade on a big fluffy brush and just blended it into my crease. Now all the shade names, Morphe palette doesn't have shade names, but all the other shade names and product lists I will leave in the down bar box below. As you can see I try to sort of wing it out rather than my usual round shades. I sort of went for a cat eye shape. And then I took a smaller crease brush, as you can see this is a lot smaller than the previous one, and just concentrated this other slightly deeper green shade right into the crease and then I will go back in with the big fluffy brush that I used before without any additional product and just blend the two colors together. As a base color to my lid I use this beautiful beautiful really rich royal blue color as you can see it looks really really stunning and just applied it with a flat brush all over my lid to deepen up the outer corners i use a really really dark green now as you can see it's nothing really intense but it still deepens up the outer corners a little bit and I pulled a funny face because I think I just dropped the brush <laughs> and I will just keep blend blend blending it once I was done I took a clean brush and just cleaned away any fallout that might have happened and enjoy my just fingers then came the star of the show, which is the Moon Dust from Urban Decay in the shade Solstice. I find the easiest way to apply it is with your fingers, but you can also use a brush, just make sure that you wet it with some sort of setting spray. And because I used blues and greens, the, all, all those blue and green reflex came out beautifully in the eyeshadow. Because I knew I wanted to apply false lashes, I also added a teeny tiny baby wing and I used the Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner to achieve that. It's a dark brown but on the lids it looks almost like black, there's not a huge difference in between the two as you can see. And I only applied a baby wing because I didn't want to take away the attention from the sparkling shadow and as you can see there are the falsies then we can move on to the base I started with smoothing the cover effects blurring primer all over my cheeks mostly in the nose area so I can get a nice smooth canvas then I went in with my MAC face and body foundation and because it's a little bit too dark at the moment I also added a drop of the body shop lightening drops dotted it on my face and then I went in with a blending brush and just blend blend blended it away To conceal any problem areas on my face, I use my MAC Pro Conceal palette and the darkest shade from there. It's really thick so I would not necessarily use it under my eyes, but it is perfect to add a bit of extra coverage on the face. And as you can see, I apply it on my nose as well because that's the first area where my foundation tends to disappear. So a little bit of extra coverage never hurts. Then under my eyes I go in with the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair. 
just drawing some of the triangles and then blending them out with the beauty blender. Before I set my face, I also apply this beautiful Lipstick Queen cream blush. It's quite a vibrant pink and normally I would go in with a blending brush but I didn't have any clean ones that day. So I applied it with this frat brush and then blend it out with my fingers and then I will also go over it with my beauty blender. I will faff around a bit more with my blending brush as you can see and blend the eyes a bit more. Then I will set my face with my NYX HD finishing powder and just take a really big fluffy brush and dust it all around lightly. Now we can move on the under eye area and I'm just gonna take that second green shade that we used earlier in the crease and I'm just gonna blend it out on my lower lash line. And if there's any fallout you can just take your powder brush like I did and dust it away. Then I will brush through my brows and we can finally move on to the brow pomade. I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame one. It's quite a dark colour but I really, really like it. It just gives so much character to my face. I really had to speed up this bit and cut some bits out just because, you know, like everyone else, I spend ages on my brows and no one wants to see that. After I applied a pomade on both sides, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Mascara. I really like this just to keep my brow hairs in place, but also just makes them look a bit more fluffy after we applied all that pomade. Now we move on to bronzing and I use my Charlotte Tilbury palette. And it's really, really natural, but I really like it. It just gives a bit more of a structured look to my face and, you know, helps me get rid of my puffy cheeks and enjoy all the funny faces I pull while applying this. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one. Yep, there's that face again. And now we're gonna apply some blush. Unfortunately, I forgot to apply a cutaway from this. But it's a beautiful pink blush from Bobbi Brown. I think it's called Peony, but again, I will leave it in the box below. And as you can see, I went in a bit heavy handed. So I took my powder brush that I used earlier and we can just blend it away. Then we move over to the highlighter, which is the Charlotte Tilbury palette again. And it's a bit more of a natural highlight than what I'm used to, but actually I was okay with it. I'm going to use the same highlighter in the cupid's bow as well and a little bit down the bridge of my nose which I usually don't do but because it was so subtle I thought why not and I will take again the same highlighter on a smaller brush and apply it on my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eyes as well. Then to further enhance and light up the inner corners, I'm going to also go in with a loose glitter. Now unfortunately I'm not too sure what the name of this as I got it from a friend a while ago, that's why it's in this little stack. But it has beautiful blue reflex in it, so I thought it will go perfectly with the eyes. And moving on to mascara, which is the Urban Decay Pro version. I really really like this, now sorry I will have to learn to stay in frame but you know it's just applying mascara luckily uh, so I applied it both on my bottom and my lower lashes just to mold them in together with the false lashes a bit more and again enjoy my funny faces I pull 
Then I went in my waterline with an Essence green liner and I decided to show it on the back of my hand for you as you can't really see it on my waterline. Luckily, that I felt like that's okay with this look but I feel like if I wanted anything stronger I would have been quite annoyed. You can see I go back and forth quite a bit with the pencil. It's not the most pigmented one out there. We arrived to the final step, yay! So I used this NYX liner to line my lips. Now I know I used quite bold lips with the eyes, but I felt like it just goes in together well and, you know, it's makeup at the end of the day, it washes off, so do what you want to do. There are no rules. Yep, yep, beautiful. Then I'm going to apply this Inglot lipstick, again I will leave the shade down below, it's beautiful, um, it's this beautiful dark brown colour. Now the formula is quite dry, that's why as you can see I decided to move on and apply it with a lip brush, it was just easier to control and applying better. And that's it, we're done for today. I hope you like this look. If you recreated, please tag me on Instagram at Sunnyside and I will see you next time.